I know I started the last video like this, but damn, what a time it is to be a Sonic fan right now. I genuinely don't remember the last time I have felt this excited for anything related to Sonic. When it comes to Sonic X Shadow Generations, or even Sonic Movie 3, or even just the fearless year of Shadow, it generally makes you feel like a little kid again. I feel like I'm just back at my mom's playing Sonic games and eagerly awaiting the next Sonic game, and that's exactly how this feels with the game and now the movie. And speaking of waiting for Sonic news, that's exactly what happened today. We have finally received the first trailer for Sonic Movie 3. We were eagerly awaiting this trailer and we finally got a glimpse at of what Movie 3 is going to look like and what to expect. And before I get into everything, let me just say, man, did it deliver. I already thought that I was super hyped up and really excited for Sonic Movie 3, but after seeing this trailer and everything that Shadow is about, I'm even more excited after watching this trailer. And December 20th truly cannot come soon enough. But with that being said, let's talk about the trailer. The trailer begins with Tom explaining that Sonic finally found his family with Tails and Knuckles. And after that, what seems like Sonic and Knuckles appear to be having a friendly spar match in the UK. I'd imagine they're just on some type of vacation, or maybe somehow their mission in this movie led him to the UK, I'm not really sure, but I would imagine it's just towards the beginning of the movie. And of course, these two keeping tradition to their friendly rivalry, of course taking it way too far and destroying Big Ben. But what's really cool here is you can actually notice that Knuckles has his Flames of Disaster ability that he obtained inside of the Knuckles show as well. So if you haven't watched the Knuckles show, that's basically what it is, and I'd imagine he uses that ability quite a bit in the movie. And while it's nice to see what Team Sonic is up to, we all know why we're here, and that's to see our boy Shadow. This is actually the first time that we see Shadow's design inside of Movie 3. Well, that isn't some toy that dropped weeks before the trailer. I mean, that's how I was somewhat spoiled by it. I found the Shadow figure at Walmart, and hey, I even bought it for myself, and it's currently on my shelf right now. But anyway, Shadow's design looks great, and a pretty big improvement from Sonic 2. The biggest thing that I noticed right away is his eyes have somewhat of a different shape to them, and also his body shape just kind of looks a little bit different to me. And overall, these changes make this dude look so damn scary and menacing. You can eventually see later on in the trailer that Sonic is actually genuinely scared of Shadow when they first interact. I'll get to that clip in a little bit, but it is genuinely crazy just to see how scared Sonic is of Shadow, and it kind of seems like they're moving in a different direction with his personality. Opposed to being the cool and edgy guy that we know from Adventure 2 or some of the other Sonic games, it kind of seems like he's more of a scary and serious type of character here. Shadow's definitely always kind of been serious, but it doesn't seem like he necessarily talks a lot. It just kind of seems like he's straight business. And what I mean by that is he just kind of has shorter lines. When he first sees Sonic and friends, he just says they're a colorful bunch and that's it. I mean, going back to Adventure 2, the first time Sonic interacted with Shadow, he sure had a lot to say. And this might just be the direction that they want to go with Keanu voicing Shadow. And this dude being so damn scary that even the military had to recruit Team Sonic to go and find and fight Shadow. As I'm sure this is somewhat similar to Adventure 2 and Shadow the Hedgehog, with Gun fearing what Shadow can become. But one of the lines said by Commander Walters inside of the trailer, I can't stop thinking about, and I think is one of the coldest lines said inside of any of the movies. And here's the clip. Shadow's story began a lot like your Sonic, but where you found family and friends, Shadow found only pain and loss. This line by Commander Walters is just bone chilling, and yet so true. While Sonic was out on adventures and finding a new family, Shadow was locked away. And simply locked away just because the world feared what he could become and just how powerful he actually is. And after Shadow breaks free, Shadow is truly left with nothing. At least that's what you would think, but I'll get to that. The one thing I will say about this shot of what appears to be Maria dying is it seems like it's some kind of freak accident. It doesn't appear that she's getting shot here with all the ruins and fire and explosions kind of going around everywhere in this one little shot. So this could potentially change the story of how Maria passed, and could even possibly change Shadow's motive depending on what happened here. But that kind of gets you thinking and makes you wonder why. It's fine to change the story up in the movies and make things more interesting and not make everything so predictable while watching the movie, but considering the way that Shadow got locked away, it was because he got sent down to Earth from Maria. At least that's how it was in Adventure 2. And if that's the case, how did Shadow get locked away for so long? 
all of this is unanswered, and we might have to truly wait until the movie comes out on December 20th, but it does really build up my personal curiosity for the movie, especially with the direction the story seems to be going from the trailer. But moving on to the sneak peek into Team Sonic's first encounter with Shadow, this is actually the first time that we hear Keanu Reeves' take on Shadow. And while I think it's a bit too soon to say as we don't hear Shadow talk a bunch in the trailer, but after watching this more than I probably should have, I can say the more that I hear Keanu, it's actually growing on me how much Shadow fits for him. While I was really excited for the star power that Keanu Reeves brings to Shadow, I definitely had my concerns on how he was going to actually fit into Shadow. But I'm actually pretty damn excited and very surprised just how well this actually works. I didn't think that Keanu was going to fit this damn well into Shadow. I thought he was going to be good, but damn, I, the more I keep hearing this, I actually am really excited to hear more of Shadow. Especially in the more emotional parts of the movies, I can't wait to hear Keanu's take on that stuff. But the highlight of the trailer, in my opinion, is Shadow absolutely dumpstering Team Sonic. From chaos snapping to Knuckles to choke slamming Sonic from the heavens, I loved this. While I think that Team Sonic is stronger than this trailer is definitely giving him credit for, it's just really cool to see all of Shadow's abilities inside of the movie and just see how damn strong he is. And I can't wait to see the fights later on as I'd imagine this is actually pretty early in the movie as well. And Shadow messing them up so bad that Sonic had to go and recruit Robotnik to Team Sonic. and. Boy, Robotnik has uh, seen some better days. They find him looking quite defeated and what seems like a Robotnik who's lost hope in ruling the world. But thanks to Sonic, it seems like he has somewhat of a purpose again, and the few times Sonic and Eggman have teamed up in the games or the comics, I've actually enjoyed when this happens. Even though they might always be the hero versus the villain, they actually kind of make somewhat of a good team. But obviously, Movie Sonic and Movie Robotnik are quite different from the games and the comics, so I'm interested to see how that eventually plays out. The rest of the trailer is just some shorter clips where we can see Shadow open up a black hole of some sort, and it really seems like they're going all out with his power scaling here in the movie and may even be stronger than his game adaptation. I guess we'll have to wait and see. We also see inside of a clip that shows the Chow Garden in the movie. This isn't your typical Chow, this might just be another reference in the movie. Kind of similar to the Knuckles show where we saw that the lodge that they went to ended up being called Ice Cap. Or kind of like the town that Sonic lives in is called Green Hill, but looks nothing like the Green Hill that we know of. The Chow Garden just looks like some kind of animatronic restaurant or people just dressing up as Chow. And while I do like my references in the movie and it's cool to see that they would actually add something like this, I would really like to see real Chow in the movie someday. Or just something that maybe we haven't seen quite yet, but I would really like to see the real Chow. But don't get me wrong, I do really appreciate references from the games, as that is a big part of the movie. But moving into the final clip of the trailer, revealing that Jim Carrey is going to be playing as Gerald Robotnik. But not just revealing him in the movie, showing that Gerald is actually still alive, and was never killed. And I don't think anyone could have predicted this. I'm one excited to see what this could become, but two incredibly confused. I understand that this movie is taking inspiration from Adventure 2, but still doing its own thing and having somewhat of an original story. But why or how is he still here, and for what reason? Did he just go into hiding after Project Shadow was shut down, or did he simply make a deal with the military? I don't understand. This is definitely the most drastic change that we've seen so far inside of the movie that we know of. And does Shadow even know that he's alive, or does he forget his memory again and not even know who Gerald is halfway through the movie? This just leaves for so many mysteries, but yet gets me so excited at the same time. And there's so many ways that they could write Gerald still being alive, or is he just some kind of ghost like Chief Pachikamak in The Knuckles Show? It's hard to say, but I'm really excited to see how this all truly plays out in the end. The only thing that I have really left to say is just kind of somewhat of a theory that I have. The theory that I actually have is that everything shown inside of this trailer is actually only in the first half of the movie. For some reason, I feel like the arc or potentially other locations outside the city are going to be more involved in some way. And even if you took somewhat of inspiration off Adventure 2, they don't truly go to the arc until the end of the game. But there's also a feeling deep down that makes me think that the arc won't ever be involved in the movie. 
Just with everything that we found out inside of this trailer, it just seems like there isn't a lot that they're going to be taking off of Adventure 2 in my opinion. While I don't think that every single clip was shown is going to be the beginning half of the movie, I do think majority of it is, and that's just kind of a theory that I personally have after watching it a few times. But I definitely could be wrong there. But either way, this trailer genuinely exceeded my expectations and gets me so hyped for the movie. And this is the most excited I've been out of all of the movies so far, and December 20th can't come soon enough. Let me know what your favorite part of the trailer was in the comments below, and with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.